centerpiece of the Tesla user interface is um, landscape rather than portrait the way it is in an S and an X. And there's a single screen rather than two screens. So by being landscape, we can do things like put the speed up in the left corner, which puts it right above your right hand. Really easy to see. And then you just get this incredible view out the front of the car without the typical lump and hood that you'd have with another display in front of you. So as Elon said, up front, we're pushed quite a ways forward relative to a typical internal combustion car because there's no engine in front of us. And then you guys are pushed back because there's no structure behind your head. There's just this great glass roof. And Does it, it creates a ton a of room in here. Cover in case it's very sunny. <laughs> um, we will have a um, sun cover for it, but the way we make it actually is it's laminated glass with um, layers inside it that have UV absorption and reflection. It's very similar to what we do in the um, front of the Model X. Uh -huh. It's really effective at um, blocking out the sun yeah. and uh, keeping the heat off. So it's multiple layers that have UV absorption. Woo! Absorption and reflection, yeah. Wow. Well, that's pretty close to the Model S. <laughs> have you been in a P90D yeah, Ludicrous? Yeah, the Ludicrous. Yes, I have. Okay, yeah. I've done just exactly what you just did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a really, I mean, it's got all the Tesla DNA that you know from the Model S, the super low center of gravity, which just makes the car really flat. The instant torque, beautiful design, incredible safety, um, and it's all... What's the major departure from the Model S, the key points? Really, the car is completely redesigned from the ground up with everything that we've learned from Model S. Um, so there isn't really any part shared at all. I see. Um, and it's made with a com combination of steel aluminum the body instead of the um, full aluminum construction that I used see. for the Model S. How much aluminum is used in the body? We, um, we have a mixture. We use steel where it makes sense primarily for um, crash protection and we use aluminum where we want very lightweight primarily in the rear of the car. Final mix will depend on a few decisions we still have to make before production. Quite a bit lighter than the Model S though? Uh, a fair amount, yeah. The, the Model S is light for its uh, size and performance level. Uh, and we have to be really careful about picking the right materials for 